Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's a nice day out in the woods. It's uh, evening by now. Had a great Sunday worship with my church family and uh, continue worshiping God out in the woods, which is just a, a small part of the revelation of God, really the church family, and that experience is the part that the Lord commands us, you know, get together with other Christians. So that was a really important part of my day. And now I'm out in the woods just relaxing. I really wanted to get out in the woods today. And I've been, I've been using these chest rigs. I wanted to compare these chest rigs. This is an affordable one. It's under $20. Find it on Amazon. I wanted to compare this versus um, this anorak that I have. So there are two things I really like. I've had anoraks for a little while. I think they're super useful, uh, especially waterproof ones. This one's a waterproof one. It's not insulated, but uh, you wear a sweater underneath and it's like... 25 degrees and I'm not even close to cold right now. It's just sleeting, so it's important to have something like that so I don't wind up getting cold. Anyways, comparing the two things and like which one is more useful, if you're going to spend the money and you want one of them, not two of them, I think I have an opinion about this. So first of all, this right here, this chest rig, some of the things that I've been carrying in there, well, it's like my camera equipment, which is really unuseful right now because I'm using it to film, so I can't show you how much of my camera equipment I can fit in this. But pretty much everything that I have for my gear, which is like that that thick and about that big, about the size of this, everything fits inside of here for a small day of filming. If I was going to go out with a bigger camera, it would not fit. But for regular things like using a pocket Osmo, that's what I'm filming this on right now. Yes, you can fit that in there. Here's the pocket Osmo size, you know, um, carrying case, pretty small camera a pen, some other things. This one did not come with um, a latch or a, a bridge holder, so I just like that so that it doesn't dump everything right out from this big pocket here. You know, pretty useful. There's additional pockets in there, and almost like Molly, but it's it's stretchy in the first pocket. I'll probably put a link down in the description to this particular model, because I know people are going to ask. And then uh, in the main pocket, this is the most functional one, in here, I actually have a holster, and I don't have my gun in there right now because it's sitting over there um, for reasons. But holster right there, kind of, kind of awkward to try to get at. I don't really like pulling a gun up like this, but at least it's in front of you here, and you can have a knife on your belt or on your side, or if you're worried about things getting all dirty or it's raining out, I suppose there's some coverage and protection right here in front of you. And uh, you know, if you're laying down on your back in a hammock or something like that, it's, it's easy to get to at the very least. It's just a little interesting drawing up here, and you can't have a massive pistol. On top of that, more elastic, easy place for storage of, you know, I guess pens, a little bit of medical equipment, that kind of thing. This one does come with the drawbridge here to um, kind of decide how much tension you want on it. Inside of here, you know, things like I have a... There's a hand warmer in here. I use this to keep my batteries warm and so that stuff doesn't die on me. That's an important piece of gear. And I can kind of collect it all together. All my batteries, my extra sources, the way that I have this light running right now. All fits pretty neatly in this one package. And then it's accessible right here. Which I do kind of like. I think it's a neat enough idea. I think it's a little funky sometimes. Like you have to get it to fit just right per uh, like item of clothing, like whatever you're wearing, whatever outfit you have on, it's really particular to that outfit. And so that's kind of the weird thing about it is if you're wearing a t-shirt, well, then you got to get off, you know, get it off and adjust it so it's not all droopy and saggy, especially when you have a pistol in there and it weighs it down. It definitely has some downsides. Um, I think some people look at you a little funny when you wear one of these, although uh, other communities, like a lot of the outdoor tactical community, they think they're cool. So Nobody look at you sideways from there, but just hiking on the trail, people kind of look at it like, huh, what you got there? Is that your binoculars? And no, I just, all my gear's in there. It's just a fanny pack, but it's up here. So kind of interesting. Um, I think it's functional, especially for if you're hiking and you're wearing a backpack. If you can get your, your breast strap, your chest strap, you know, whatever one, you can get that across here or underneath or something like that. If you can maneuver it around this, then you have extra storage and you have it right here in front of you. There's some advantages, especially if you're trying to like use your phone. I'm using my phone right now for something else, but if you're trying to use your phone and you wanted immediate access right here, kayaking, it's really, really dope for kayaking. For kayaking. I, I like that better uh, because it's, it's not really interfering. It's not down here. I can put my waterproof case right in front of me, my phone in front of me. Easy access. I like that quite a bit. Uh, I really wouldn't 
bulge it out too much more than this though. I think as it is, let me just take it off and show you how this removes. As it is, it's bigger, it's bigger than I care to have it. So if you can see that right there, yeah, it's plenty broad and wide. It's kind of what it looks like. And then on the back, there's just some mesh, so it doesn't get super hot. It, it definitely doesn't get super hot. And it's just a little clip system. Or uh, you could take it off completely and hang it off a backpack. There's molly on the back of these. So there's a lot of uses. It's not just a chest bag. Uh, it has it has some other things you can do. So this is Wynex, by the by the way. The brand is Wynex. I guess it's it's multi-use, but if I'm to compare that against an anorak, so an anorak is typically a, a jacket that has some outer protection, usually has a main pocket, at least this one has side pockets for your hands that are um, not interconnected to anything else. They're individual pockets, all waterproof. That's kind of why I like this particular one. And then the, this is like the, the most common piece of it, is it. They're pullovers, they have a hood, a lot of times they're waterproof, and they have a pouch, a kangaroo pouch on the inside, and it's usually pretty generous. Like this particular one right here could probably fit this whole pack inside of it. It's probably fit the whole pack inside of there. So inside of here, you know, I usually keep things like I have a... I'll take it out, I guess. I have my backup um, Olight. This is one of my favorite ones. This one is super, super bright. Um, it has two settings. I mean, for a small light, this thing is so good. And it's rechargeable, so there's a dim moonlight, and then off, and then really bright. So little things like this, put it always in there, all the time. Every time I wear this outdoors, I always have a backup light on me, which is very convenient. Like tonight, I actually forgot my main flashlight. Um, and then I usually have a fire steel and some sort of knife right now, an open L number eight or seven or something. I always like to carry some extra gear in there, but it's really convenient because I can actually take all my camera gear and dump it right here. And I have a waterproof pouch for it right there accessible. Again, it looks a little goofy. If you really fill this pouch out and you're hiking with it, you know, there's a bunch of stuff in here, but it's convenient because when I'm hiking with my kids or I just, I want to bring a lot of things out, but I don't want my pockets full of everything or I don't want a backpack. This could pretty much handle it. It just depends on if you aesthetically care that you look kind of like a kangaroo. You have a bunch of stuff pouched up right in front of you. The other advantage here is that this, this meets a need. It's almost a, a partial shelter wearing an anorak. Like right now I said, it's sleeting out. It's really wet. I had to protect everything else. Eventually this Cordura type material is just gonna be permeated. It's gonna be soaked. Everything inside is gonna be soaked. With the anorak, uh, as long as I keep my hood up and the water isn't coming right down, everything inside is perfectly dry. Um, I can wear it. I can take it off and put it around my waist and still have all that gear with me. It has some level of organization as a place for my pockets. It's not one more piece of gear that I have to, um, you know, try to buckle in. It just goes on my sleeves and it's comfortable. So I find a lot of advantages to anoraks. I think I personally, at least, let's say 90% of the time, if I'm being honest, 90% of the time, I'm going to wear an anorak in just that. I'll put the gear in there. I don't care how I look. It's just more convenient. I'll get to my site and I can offload some things. But this sort of uh, piece of equipment is more useful to me than these are. These are super affordable. It's not hard to find one for under $20. And it'll at least have as much function as this Wynex does right here. But if you were trying to decide between one piece of gear, you know, just because the YouTubers are doing this and it looks cool to you, it doesn't mean it's a better option. Honestly, uh, when it comes to hauling gear, I always have to take a backpack anyways. This is not enough real estate. So if I'm going minimalist, then I kind of truly want to go minimalist. And in the winter time or the fall time, I need a coat on anyways. Um, right now it's 20, I think it's like 23 degrees out. And I'm wearing just a sweater underneath and this thin outer shell that's waterproof. And I can carry all my things in there. I really wouldn't need this. Um, when I'm carrying a gun, it is convenient. So there's the trade-off. I don't really have a whole lot more of input for you just yet. I'll probably do an update video in the future in case I change my mind about that. But if you've been considering these things, there's my two cents. Is it worth, you know, the, the money? Uh, for, for some people, maybe for a few, especially hikers who want to put that gun saddled up here, maybe a knife on your hip, or you just want freedom around your waist, perhaps wearing basketball shorts where you're hiking, doing through hiking or something. Yeah, that could make sense. For me, uh, especially in Minnesota season like what it is right now, this makes a lot more sense and I don't have to double them up. In fact, I don't see a big advantage of doubling them up most of the time. 
I'll probably just go to a backpack on a lot of those longer days or an overnight. I'm not going to just settle with this. So you could save your money one way or another buying one without the other. Uh, me, I happen to have both, and I probably don't need both.